In this video, I'm going to show you the quickest way to get a, a website hosted using GitHub. So this could be a blog or some other kind of information that you just want to get onto the web without having to worry about uh, creating HTML files and uh, finding a hosting service and all that stuff. So the way to do it is to just uh, go to GitHub and create a new repository. You can call it anything you want and give it a description if you like. Make sure it's public and uh, I'm just going to add a readme file. So this is typical for GitHub repos. Uh, there's a readme.md file that gets added and I'll hit create repository and you'll see that there's nothing in the repo except for that readme.md that I had, had uh, GitHub add automatically for me. I can hit the pencil button right here and add uh, anything I want to that page. So it's using Markdown, which is a really simple way of um, kind of r uh, formatting text. So here's, um, here's some text. So actually in Markdown we use uh, two stars for bold and uh, one star surrounding something for italic. There's lots of other things you can do, but if we hit preview here we can see what it looks like and there you can see some is bold, some is italic. This is what it would look like if it were um, turned into HTML, which is kind of the markup language for the web. Now I made changes to this file and I can just save it by hitting commit here. I could leave a message saying what I did to the file, uh, but I'm just going to hit commit right now. If you know anything about GitHub repos, uh, commits are essentially a snapshot of, of a moment in time. So any changes I made by committing, it kind of captures that moment. Now typically that's maybe more than one file at a time. You know, there's a group of files that I edited before I hit commit. But in this case, I've literally just edited that one file, hit commit, and that's that. So if I go back to the main page of my repo, I can see it um, it displays the readme here automatically because that's the way GitHub works. If you have a readme.md file, it's going to show it on the home page of your repo. Now I can add more pages. I can actually use Markdown to create links between the pages. You can see that this is starting to almost look like a website, but I don't want to have all this GitHub stuff around it if I send someone here. I just want a plain website. The way I can make that happen is by going to settings and choosing pages. Uh, GitHub Pages is a, a, basically a part of the GitHub service that will take all the markdown files in your repo and turn them into uh, HTML and, and essentially web pages. All you have to do is say which branch you want to, um, to have that happen in and you know probably just have main because that's all, all we've got. So I'll hit save and what it says is basically to just wait and um, right here it says it's currently being built. Now I could just wait right here and just keep refreshing this page. If I hit refresh, I'm just doing control R. Uh, eventually it'll have the link to my site here. I'm just going to give it a minute. If I click on the name of the repo, you can see this little orange dot here. That actually means there's something happening with the repo. And you can also see that in the actions tab. Uh, it shows that it's actually building a website essentially. And if I click on this, I can actually see a little bit more information. It's building right now, which means it's converting all that markdown to HTML. At some point, it'll go to this next stage where it's reporting. You can see that that was successful. Now it's reporting and deploying means it's actually making a website. So by the time I get back over to settings, it's probably going to show a link there. Let's go back to pages. And there it is, there's the link. So you can see it's my GitHub username github.io slash the name of the repo and that's it. If I click re visit site or click on the link, it's going to send me to the website and there it is. It's a whole website. I could actually give this URL to anybody. They don't have to necessarily know uh, what's building the website or what it looks like behind the scenes. This is just a website that can have links, images, and anything else you want. So give that a try and uh, just that's, that's a starting point. There's a lot more customization you can do. You can create a, a complete website that has all of the features and thematic uh, kind of styling that you would have for any website. But that's uh, for another day. This is basically just the quickest way to get a website or some information onto the web. Good luck.